I got a couple of tutorial requests today that I could definitely handle covering on video so I'm gonna cater to those requests today as I get time to and in this first lesson we're gonna show how to customize the new YouTube channel layout sort of like I have here and there's a couple of key factors that I'm gonna have to discuss before we do that because you'll see here on a normal channel you only get so much space so if I go to edit channel on this channel you see there's no extras here like the partner channels but if I'm on my partner channel and I go to edit channel you'll see that I have a channel banner setting and a couple of added perks because I'm a partner but I think a lot of you guys are YouTube partners as well so you might have these options if you're new to YouTube or you don't have the partnership yet then you're gonna have options like this which won't give you more space up top and things like that but you can still choose your background and graphically customize this whole thing out okay so that's what we're gonna show you how to do today let's go okay so what we'll do is focus on this type of channel that doesn't give you the extra space on top because that's probably the most common type of YouTube channel so this video can encompass a greater group you guys with the partner channels like I have you would just have to understand it's very simple too, graphically to understand that you have 150 possible pixels that you can push the whole layout down and put your custom graphics up top and you can also put in an image map and if you want to know how to do the image map I think I already made a video tutorial for that let me check yep I found it here it is this is the title of it and I made this in 2009 so it's pretty old but it still stands you can use the same kind of procedure to create your image map for your partner channel okay but like I said we're gonna focus on this type of channel that way we can encompass a greater group here on YouTube and show them how to do things but if you guys are partners all you have to do is understand that you have that 150 extra pixels and you can put in the image map alright let me just hit cancel and actually to get a better contrast I'm gonna change my background to white so change your background to white first and then once that's changed then you can press done editing it'll change your background to white and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna press print screen on our keyboard it's the key that's next to your F12 so just hit print screen and open up fireworks and if you guys are working in Photoshop or Illustrator or GIMP or any kind of graphics editing tool the logic is gonna be just about the same for what we're gonna show it just won't be the same exact steps because I'm working in Adobe Fireworks okay but if you're working in Adobe Fireworks you can do the same exact steps I do but if you're in another tool you can you can still follow the logic okay so let's go with maybe 1500 actually maybe not that much 1200 by 600 okay now I'm gonna press control V to paste in my print screen clipboard item and then what I'm going to do is grab or cut this part of the graphics out so while this is selected I'm gonna go to the marquee and what I want to do is take just about like that and I think the layout is 970 pixels wide let's see if that's right let's move that over a bit and I think it's 970 so I'm gonna make sure I got a little bit of the browser up top that top bar at YouTube and then I want to make sure I get this curved edge of the layout in my cutting so I'm gonna press control C now to copy that and you can just press control D to deselect and then press control V and then hit your pointer tool and you'll have your item there sorry okay now let's control X on the main clipping that we had now we can widen this out if you want to have more uh, horizontal space so you can go to your canvas size let's make that about 1600 because some of you guys might really want to have flared out graphics off to the side or whatever you can see on mine that I have my graphics pretty much straight up and none off to the side but I can choose to have graphics all over the sides if I want as well as far and as wide as I want it to be as long as the file size is still small enough for the YouTube upload mechanism now what you want to do is make sure you center this thing so let's get it centered just by dragging it around when it hits the center mark you'll see a dotted line letting you know you are dead center in there so you can let it go at that point and then drag it up and if it's not 970 maybe it's 972 or whatever we'll compensate for that but we just want to get the general feel of the area that we have to work around so let's go ahead and see this gray bar for the YouTube uh, logo in the top bar make sure that's out of view just a little bit 
Actually, make sure it's completely out of view perfectly. You don't even want a little bit of that gray to be showing. So make sure you pixel hop it using your arrow keys to where it's just out of view. You see what I did? Just out of view. Right there. Okay, now what I'm going to do is zoom out a little bit by holding control and mouse wheeling. And I'm going to cut the part of the top off that I don't want. So I can just put a marquee, a rectangular marquee right there. Zoom in to make sure it's in the right spot. So at 100% that looks alright to me. So I'm going to press control X. And then now you'll notice if I change my background to black or any color, you can't really see that white area up there and that's nice and you can even erase those little tips so if you zoom in move this over see those little tips you can get rid of those by grabbing your eraser what let me select this item first grab my eraser and then that all looks good to me I'm gonna go like that just erase it a little bit so I can sense the curvature of what I need to create to really sync my graphics into the new layout. I'm going to do the same to this side. Okay, that's good enough. And then I'm going to zoom out back to 100%. And I'm going to highlight that and go into my layers. And actually, you can even... No, it's a good thing to keep that fully visible. So let's go into the layers. Lock that layer. Now you can't grab it. And you can't mesh with it at all. It's locked in stone. You'll just want to delete it after you get done doing your graphics. So now I'm going to direct you guys to where a lot of graphic tutorials, uh, graphics editing and creation tutorials are for Fireworks, the exact tool that I'm working in here. And I'm not going to sit here on video uh, doing a tedious process of designing my whole channel because actually people will just mimic the design I create and that's no good. You want to make your own unique thing. So what I'm going to do is lead you right now to a whole gob, a whole mess, a whole bunch of fireworks tutorials for creating all kinds of cool graphics. You go to developphp.com and you hit the graphic design button here in the video tutorials and look at all the fireworks lessons. I'm not going to waste my time doing another design lesson when this really isn't focused around design. This is focused around how to set up your layout and get things looking to sync right into your layout. That's what this tutorial is about. Uh, I also have some Illustrator and one Photoshop tutorial. I'm not really big on using Photoshop. That's why I only have one. But uh, Fireworks, I cover that probably better than most anybody online working today. Okay, that's all I'm going to do to mine. You can see exactly what it looks like on both sides. And mine fades to black on all the edges. So you can see my bottom edge is all black. This edge is solid black. And there's a gradient set in the back. See if I move this gradient around, you can see what's going on. Okay? Now you don't want your gradient to bleed off of the sides or else it'll look funny if people have really wide monitors. Okay? So if you use any gradients like that, make sure everything fades to black on the edges. On the top, it can be nice and bright. So now what I'm going to do is go into the layers. And I'm going to grab that locked layer. And I'm going to remove it. So highlight that. Control X. And then the rest of the graphics is what I'm going to export now. So I'm going to go to File, Export Wizard, Continue, The Web, Continue, Exit. I'm going to use JPEG. I'm going to set the quality up to about 85. And that gives me a file that's 66 kilobytes. I want to up the quality a little more. It ups the kilobytes. So I'm going to go about 85. I'm going to export. And on my desktop, I'm just going to name it YouTube Demo. You can name it whatever you want. And then press Save. And then you go and look in your desktop, make sure it's there, make sure it's a JPEG, and you'll be all ready to go. So we can preview this, and that's what it looks like, and that's what I'm going to load up to YouTube right now. All right, here I am. I'm going to go to Edit Channel, and I'm going to change my background to black, because that's what I have set for my design. And then I'm going to go to Choose File also. And I'm going to go find that file, YouTube Demo. And then the background options, I'm going to set No Repeat and it'll center it for me automatically and then I'll press done editing and there I am you ate my soul with their basic YouTube uh, 
account type with a nice custom background whatever kind of graphics you want to put back there and I don't know who this person is I just asked somebody if I could use their YouTube channel for this demo and this guy is an idiot don't subscribe to him okay so like I said on the partner channels you'll have extra space up top like I do you see this extra space it'll let you put extra graphics and it gives you the extra added perk of adding an image map and what an image map does is let you set all kind of buttons you can put tons of buttons up here to different pages online or different websites or a lot of different pages from your one website you can put all bunch of buttons up there that will lead people to different things or you can make it clickable to one thing mine just goes to the website if you click anywhere up top there it'll take you to developphp.com that's the way I have my image map set and my background image that I have set here is this graphics that you see here and the image map is really just for clickability so if I wanted to add a bunch of different little independent buttons that's what the image map is for and that other uh, tutorial that I mentioned earlier in the video is where you can learn how to make all the little buttons or whatever if you happen to have a partner channel if you have a normal YouTube account or a new YouTube account you'll probably have this account type so you'll be able to customize the way I did here alright I hope some of you guys found this helpful and we'll see you in the very next tutorial where we're going to be covering another user request